Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what have we got for you today? Well, once again for you regular viewers who watch my videos and the pen haul videos, you would have seen a very interesting pen here. Look at this. Doesn't it look very nice indeed? Very interesting. Just needs a little bit of a service. And after that service, here's the pen in question. A gorgeous, gorgeous pen. Look at that. Very nice indeed and very interesting in my opinion. Nice and simple. First of all, Let's look at the barrel imprint there. It has Waterman's fountain pen. And, well, unfortunately, there's no model number on this pen. I believe this pen is actually the Waterman's 52V fountain pen with this lovely gold... Um, yeah, a faceted gold overlay. Very nice indeed. The size of the pen capped 115 millimeters capped. Around the barrel, it's 10 millimeters in diameter. And as you can see, as we've just said, it comes in this lovely engine turned faceted pattern. It's got these sort of flowers if you like running down sort of one side and then we've got this sort of wavy lines running on the other section we've got this waterman well no it's not a waterman we've got this clip here okay and it's a what we term as a sort of ski jump clip and then i don't know if you can actually see just to the bottom of the clip it has two marks so here's a, a close-up of them particular marks and you can see it has the letter R and then just below it it has a triangle with the letter G okay so they're the marks to the bottom and they're the only marks I can actually see so the letter R is that is the pen roll gold? I don't know. The letter G in the triangle, um, is that the maker's mark? I don't know. Was this made, was it a jeweler's overlay? Again, I'm not 100% sure. If any of you people know, please leave a comment and share because we actually learn something new every day and we'd like to know. Now, again, if we take you up to the cap, as I say, we've got this lovely sort of ski jump clip. And then to the very top, you can see we've got this sort of flowery bead running around the top and this slightly domed top of the cap there. And then to the other side, you can see it goes down, the, the pattern sort of finishes there. And then it's quite plain, slightly domed to the bottom, as you can see there and in gorgeous condition we've also got there we go it's got a nickel silver clip as you can see there with the ideal logo there to the end of the clip um underneath you can obviously you can't see it here it's actually what we term as a box lever which is correct for the period and then for you people that watch the video and you would have seen that before um i mentioned you can see it's got a slight mark here now what i've done i've polished it obviously i don't want to over polish it to remove any of the pattern but unfortunately some idiot must have thought that it was actually gold and they used a file to try and test it but yeah, I've actually, I've not removed it, but I've made it a little bit better than it was before. But apart from that, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous pen. No dings, 
it is a very attractive and as i say a very interesting pen now i've asked the question is it an italian overlay again i'm not too sure somebody suggested it could well be a south american um overlay again i'm not too sure once again anybody knows share the information with us it would be very much appreciated now what i've done i've actually took the pen apart we've cleaned everything um we've put a brand new sack in the pen so it's ready to go to the new or to a new owner someone will enjoy this pen i'm sure you can see underneath it's the sort of the black pen or the black hard rubber it's got the threads there it's got the very recognizable section there to the top slight slight ridge towards the nib and it's got a lovely sized nib okay the waterman's nib it reads waterman ideal reg us pat office and then to the bottom it's got the number two and then i'm not sure if you can see it but it may be inside the section it has made in usa okay so a lovely number two waterman's nib which is correct if it's actually a 52v model there's a sideways view there's the feed underneath as you can see lovely and clean as it should be it's got the well you can't see it but it's a correct waterman's feed for this particular model again but lovely and clean as it should be and with the overlay it's got a nice little it's got well not a lot of weight but it's got a little bit of weight to it and it makes it even with my large hands it's very comfortable to hold and to write with okay now as i said it's got this lovely waterman nib you can see the tines are quite long whoops a daisy so what we'll do on this particular occasion to see how the nib performs let's fill the pen so as i said it's a lever fill there you go so what we'll do, let's dip it in the ink. Let's pop the lever back. Click it into place. Give it a little bit of a wipe. Let's bring on our pad. And let's see how this, uh, this nib writes. Because I feel it may have some flex so what we've got is a a water a waterman's fountain pen i believe it to be a 52v so that would date it around 1930s 1940s okay where was it made that's questionable is it an italian overlay again as suggested is it a south american overlay we're not too sure okay writing very nicely it's writing with a fine line There we go, until we put a little bit of pressure on the downward stroke. Very nice indeed. So does it have any flex? The answer is yes it does. Look at that. Writing with a nice variation, as I say, writing with a fine line, but with some downward pressure 
we're getting a lovely variation in line so very nice indeed so what we'll do we'll empty that we'll clean it swill it out ready for somebody to enjoy this gorgeous gorgeous pen so a lovely waterman's fountain pen from round about the 1920s with this i would think roll gold overlay faceted overlay is it italian is it south american we're not too sure but what we are sure of it's a stunning pen a gorgeous pen and in my opinion a uncommon pen is it rare i don't know but rather uncommon but very very interesting so there we have it i hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as i enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment if you know anything about the pen if you know anything about the marks that we showed you please share with us please leave, leave a comment below and help us all out don't forget give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe but for now i'm just going to say slavo krini and from me bye bye for now